In this example, I'm given a data set. First column is input, second column is output. To identify the input quantity, I look at the header of the input. The quantity is what the input represents, which is time, and the units are seconds. The input variable is the letter T. The output quantity is what the output represents, which is the height of the golf ball, and the units are feet. The output variable is the capital letter H. For part B, I want to write the data as a set of ordered pairs. So I've written together the input and output on each row and then put these little set brackets around that entire group of ordered pairs. Part C, I want to interpret the meaning of the ordered pair 3 comma 144. Well, 3 is input, that's time. So I can say, and I need to write a complete sentence, that after 3 seconds, the output is 144, meaning the height of the ball, height of the golf ball, was 144 feet. So I'm taking this specific ordered pair and I'm restating it verbally in terms of the input quantity, the specific, and the output quantity. For part D, is the height of the golf ball a function of time? So as the table is set up here, what I do is I look at my inputs and I want to be sure that for each input, I only have one output and that it is unique. So what I'm looking for first is to see if I have any input values repeated. If I don't, then I'm almost assured to have a function. So what I can say here is that yes, height of the golf ball is a function over time and why? Because each input has one unique output. If we flip this around and we ask, is time a function of the height? That would mean that time would be output and height would be input. So if I imagine this table flipped around, if I look down at what would be my inputs, I see that I have two occurrences <clears throat> of the input zero. That would give me the ordered pair zero comma zero. That would be going this way. And zero comma six. So we have repeated inputs, or we could say we have different outputs for an input of zero. So this order would not give a function.